Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to realize FSK bus camera. Let's watch a video first. This uses serial port to send instructions. Camera off. Send instructions to turn on camera. Send instructions to display camera screen. The camera is turned on and display the screen. Contents include three parts. Software setting, development steps, and demonstration operation. Part 1 is to understand the software setting. Icon overlay. This for parameters. When we choose the display area, they are automatically generated. Because the range of VP, here we can set it. Next is icon brightness, according to the range. Zero is the darkest, FF is the brightest, so we set 255. Decimal is used here. Display mode, we choose FSK camera. The next part. According to the range of the background color filtering, we could set 1. This part we must choose reversed order. This is the default choice. The last parameter. We can use the default 0. The next is return key code. Again, these are automatically generated. When we choose the touch area, these can be set by default. Data auto uploading. When we use serial port, we could check. Instead, we don't need to check. The two parts we don't need to set. Key value. According to the range, we could set it 1. Hold time means that the control needs to keep pressing for 0 second before returning to the key value. Here we set it 0. According to the VP, we set it. The last part. We choose in. It means that write the entire variable address. Part 2. Development Steps Step 1. Create a new project. It should be noted here that the resolution needs to be consistent with the screen. And then add the background image. Image names must start with zero. Step 2. Generate ICL file. Click Welcome Interface to an ICL generator. Select Directory and then Generate ICL file. It is recommended to generate 30 to ICL file. If you want to name it other numbers, you need to modify it on CFG file. Step 3. Click icon display icon overlay. Choose the area of display. Set the parameters. Step 4. Click touch control. Return key code. Choose the area of touch. Set the parameters. Step 5. Click Save and Generate. Next we need to implement the camera function. There are two ways OS build software in serial port. Firstly, learn how to program with OS build. Open OS build software and win OS development guide to set up program. You could download these from our website. Here there is an example to refer to. Finally, we need to click build to generate Dwin OS bin file. Note that the name of the file must start with Duino's. Next let's turn on the camera by sending instructions. Open SCOM software. Again you could download it from our website. Write out instructions based on these. The first part is the frame header. 07 is byte length. This is followed by the instructions that need to be sent. 
The following instructions are similar. The last step. Put the following files into an SCT folder and download it to SD card. This file can be provided by our sales staff. Now let's demonstrate. Open Diga software. Create a new project. Choose the corresponding resolution. Choose the file path. Add the background image. Return the welcome interface. Click ICL generator. Select directory. Name it 32 and save it into an SCT folder. Start to make the project. Click icon overlay. Choose the area of display. These parts we don't need to set. Set VP. Set brightness, the brightest value. Choose FSK camera. Filter set, we set it 1. According to the guide, we choose reserved order. This part we use the default zero. Next click return key code. Choose the area of touch. They are automatically generated. They can be set by default. This part, today I use OS to develop, so don't need to set. The next parts, we don't need to set. Key value we set it one. Hold time we set it zero. Set VP and choose in. After we have set all the parameters, click save and generate. Put these file into an SCT folder and download to SD card. This is the file we generated with OS. Once powered on, it is the beginning of the effect we see. Today's teaching content is all over. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. See you next time. Goodbye.